Hey, what's happening, good one? Sir James from GamerFusion.com, and in today's video, I'm here to bring you guys my unboxing of the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition, or NES Classic Edition for short. This thing came out today on the marketplace for about $60, and basically what it is is that it's a miniaturized replica of the Nintendo Entertainment System that comes with 30 pre-built games. However, the only downside to this is that you only get 30 games and there's no way to extend that unless of course maybe you take it apart and mod it yourself but that's the only way that i could think of so anyways again everyone was going crazy searching for these and they were selling out like hotcakes like amazon sold out instantly most of the stores around my area were sold out um, luckily enough i got there early enough to my local GameStop, even though they only had eight in stock so i got very lucky to bring one home to share with you guys because i'm very excited about this so first up here is the front of the box. As you can see, it has a really nice package overall. You turn on over to the side, it actually has some information about the system itself. On the other side, it talks about the classic controller, which you could also utilize for the Nintendo Wii U, and I think the standard Wii as well. I'm not sure about the second part. And on the very back has the list of games in which you can look forward to playing on this. What's nice too is that this is supported through HDMI and of course you could also have some save states as well so you don't have to start over on your game. So overall I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways let's go ahead and get this open. There's actually a tab located on this side. And uh, I had to wait until I got home to basically utilize this so uh, I'm finally being able to unbox this. Also too, I wanna to let you guys know that I received an early review code for Assassin's Creed Ezio collection. So you guys can look forward to that pretty soon. So that is everything inside the box, just a box within a box. But first we have this piece of paper. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is kind of like bringing some memories back for me, which I think is pretty cool. What is this? So there is some redeem points. If you guys want some Nintendo points, there you guys go. You are more than welcome to have that. See, the first one that we have here, I think is a poster. Let's go ahead and put this one box to the side. Look at that poster right there. Isn't that pretty cool? You got um, Rob the Robots, you got Duck Hunt, the NES system. Honestly, I think I'm gonna frame this, but you do get a poster inside, which I think is pretty cool. And on the back of the poster, I actually had instructions on how to set it up, but I didn't feel like flipping it on that side. Bring the box back over here. We do have what appears to be the warranty as well. We'll put that over here to the side. And then this will be the system itself. Put that over on the side here. Take everything out. We got the controller. And underneath this, we have, like, take this off. There you go. More cables and another cable. All right, so to go ahead and start with the cable first, we have the power brick here. So this plugs in through your outlet, simple as that. And of course, then you have this piece right here. which will connect to the system through the small connection. And then the other side will go into here. Simple as that. So there's that. Then of course you have your HDMI cable. Standard, it's uh, silver plated, not gold plated, but again, this uses HDMI, so that's also pretty neat. I guess we'll start with the controller because this feels awfully small, which it should. Let's go ahead and get this little uh, tab out of the way. So let me ask you guys while we're getting all this out, uh, for those of you who've been wanting to get one, did you get your hands on one or was it just sold out everywhere for you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And there is the controller. Very, very cool. Actually feels nice. And I really like this. Now, from what I've read, apparently there's an adapter you could also get where you could actually use your original NES controller. So not like the one that comes with this, but if you want to use like your real classic original one, apparently there's a cable you can get to utilize that, which I think is pretty neat, which I'm definitely going to look into. But overall, the build quality of this is really, really nice. Start, select, 
So yeah, this this brings back a lot of memories. I'm really enjoying this so far. And I haven't even plugged it in yet. And of course we have the system, which is very, very light. So it doesn't have a hefty build to it at all. And there it is. Look at that. That is pretty, pretty cool. So you have your power and reset button over here. Really nice. And of course, keep in mind that the cable for the controller is extremely short, but they do sell an extension cable. So if you want to, if you are in a situation where you sit far back from your TV, they do have a cable that you can get, which I think is like 10 bucks. On the back, you have your power connection right there. And of course, HDMI. But again, just take a look around that. Again, this is super light, but it's really cool. Unfortunately, the door latch right here does not open up. However, I've seen uh, someone make a, a 3D printed version where theirs actually opened up. And the way they had their games, their games was on like little memory cards. And you could actually put the games in there and you could basically keep filling it up and stuff like that, which is unfortunate that, that, that Nintendo didn't go with that route, but I think they wanted to avoid piracy. Um, but again, overall, I think this is very, very cool. Like I said, this is $60. You get 30 pre-built-in games, which if you count the games as $5 each, which I think that's what it goes for on the Nintendo eShop, then overall you're actually getting a pretty good deal. There's a lot of great games in this lineup, but overall that's pretty cool. So once again, system, one controller, you can buy another controller separately, power cable, HDMI cable, instruction booklet, plus classic poster, and of course a warranty guide. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.